This is the Chinese year of the underdog. This is the Chinese year of the underdog. And that's why we're calling it that year. Yeah.
I'm Callum Danes and we're here at the O2 Institute. Scratch <coughs> TV meets the manor. Yo. Scratch TV, what's in? What's happening? Sure, good with you. You're right. <laughs> so you guys came up started during college parties like that. How did you go from that sort of thing, just like underground parties, running that sort of thing, to coming up here now, running the O2 Institute, dropping singles? Listen. Exactly the same, isn't it? Exactly the exactly same. same. Listen, you've got to enjoy yourself. We've had made a lot of mistakes, yeah. but somehow, by the grace of God, we've ended up here, sending out Birmingham. We used to just get lagging at parties, now we get lagging in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> now we get lagging before shows. And, the, and these, these lot are worse than us, to be fair, so it's... it's we're, we're, we're with a good crowd. Yeah. We're people like us all the time. So. Everyone in there is probably going to end up in rehab. So what, what, can, you, what can you tell me about the mistakes you made? Like, you've got some wild we, stories. We, to like... be fair, we made an album called Don't Do What We Did. We made a lot of mistakes. Wrong job choices, wrong girlfriends. We've, uh, you know, we spent money we shouldn't have spent. This is all done, right? <laughs> drinking, when, drinking when we shouldn't drink. I love, I love all my exes. I love, love all his exes. All they exes. don't love you though, Dan. But drinking you. when we shouldn't drink. Yeah. Listen, doing what we shouldn't do, but listen, it end up paying off in the end, so I can't complain. That's, nah, that's awesome, man, that's awesome. Uh, cut to it, hold on. I've got que I've yeah, questions it. written down. Yeah. So, the tour's called the Pre-Drink Tour. Yeah. How, you said before, like, the wild parties and that. Have you got any wild tour stories, like, from how you guys have been out here? Uh, <laughs> so far, you know what, it's been a bit of a dry tour for me personally. I've, <laughs> you, know, you say drinking the beer with a hand. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean girl wise. The only bird I had, my brother nicked off me, so and I slipped in a hallway. So, can you tell like, us that story? I mean, that is you... the story, pretty much. So I was getting with a bird all night. I've gone back to the room, and I'm sitting in a corner doing a couple of things. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've woke up, and he's my brother's all wrapped round it. So I've left the room as you do, respectful. Yeah, you've got to be respectful even on tour. And um, I've ended up sleeping in your way because no one would fucking answer. Did you, the door. did you say anything to him about it afterwards? I said you ain't coming on tour again if you do that again, bro. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't coming on tour ever again. Yeah, even if it's from the bar, get me a double rum and red. Yeah, get some drinks I'm on a go here. Yeah. Get some drinks. Um, wild tour stories. Our DJ's got a girlfriend. Yeah. He met her yesterday and he's now. Oh, Scotty, Scotty. Scotty interview, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, our DJ met a bird last night and they're now madly in love and they're going out. Met they're, last wait, night. last night? Last night, not less than 24 hours ago. <laughs> they're having a sit down meal in our room tonight. No way, <laughs> that's crazy. Like, sit down plate. Can, can any of you guys top that? No, I'm thinking I'll be well, I've even been bed every night by about midnight. I'm in bed at midnight. You call her every night. Yeah, and she's still fuming with me. I've had, I've had no fun because of her and she's still fuming with me. <laughs> Yes, I have. I've been indoors. I've, I've been watching the news. I've been watching the news. What's been, what's been your favourite uh, delivery of the tour? Favourite? Oh, hey. that is a fantastic question. <laughs> my favourite delivery yeah, of the delivery. tour. Well, fa honestly, this is a, this is a tough one because we've been to the city centres of most places and there's been a lot of variety. But I will say my favourite delivery was the Nando's I had yesterday because you can't get Nando's and delivery in London and I got it in uh, Manchester. Well, I didn't know. He's you waffling. Could. He's waffling. He's waffling. Go on, John. That's you. Uh, you got one, man, or you? Have I got my well, favourite delivery of the tour? Tiger Bites yesterday, Tiger Manchester. Bites, Tiger What's bites? Tiger Bites, man? Oh, man, we'll be here all night. It's fantastic. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look it up. It's coming soon. So, you have a single called Ibiza. Yes. And I yes. saw on your Instagram a post about you guys trashing a villa out there. Yeah, we did. We trashed, yeah. yeah it was, can, you, can you talk about that story? Or? It was, yeah, no, we can't. It was basically our, our villa become, it's like my house at home. John, John, mate, keep you in the game. It's yeah, the villa, the villa basically, the villa basically become like a, like a refuge, like a hostel. Yeah. So anyone who was out, all the workers we've met, everyone would end up there every night. My mate said it was a mixture between Love Island and Train Spotting. <laughs> sort of <laughs> I'm guessing you guys aren't going back there. So, also scrolling through your Instagram, the weird things were like girls in bikinis with like Jeremy Corbyn masks and like. You got this one? <laughs> that was as confusing as what it was meant to represent. <laughs> <laughs> Me and that were very high yeah, one. What, what's it meant to represent? Confusion <laughs> 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 mess. We were, uh, we were, 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 we were
we won like before the election and me and Dan came up this idea, which is more like. Did you remember the original plan? I have no idea. Oh, it was my plan. Yeah, it was my yeah, plan. It was Dan's plan. My plan was to get, get a couple of grasses. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, so talking about singles, you guys had a song with Janeo. Did yeah, how'd that come about? I don't know, I don't know about that. <laughs> Janeo, no, Janeo is a big fan of ours. I think our good management get involved in feeling the needs. Yeah, he's a big fan of ours. We've been trying to make this song for a long time. We've been a lot of sessions. We had a lot of sessions. He's a very funny guy. I think I'm going to do some challenges out right now. Yeah, that's sick. 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 That's sick.